It's pork, but not as you know it. As the plant-based movement gains legs, technology is helping to change up the menu and our diets. Impossible is just one company making strides in the alternative meat industry, one which is expected to be worth billions over the coming years. Well, Gizmodo tech expert Tegan Jones tried the company's version of pork at consumer technology convention CES in Las Vegas. So, how do they do it? They took a molecule uh, called heme, which is found in meat, but also found in soybeans. So they took that and uh, have genetically modified it and had it uh, growing in yeast. But can you tell the difference from real meat? They were absolutely incredible. Uh, they tasted pretty much no different from what I could tell. Even just seeing it cooking in the pan, it was crisping up, you could see the fat coming out, and it looked like absolutely normal pork. As the plant-based sections in supermarkets expand, meat-free meat is filling the shelves. It's even making its way onto fast food menus, but it comes with a warning. Not all of these meat alternatives are as healthy as they could be yet. I think they will get there. Um, you're seeing them get better and better. At the moment, they tend to be really high in sodium. Technology is also helping us to go green at home. This is LG's version and it will grow all of your herbs and vegetables inside. It takes care of the watering, the light, it's controlled via a smartphone app and it even feeds a family for it. We're seeing a shift in traditional farming methods too. Sprout Stack is one Australian company developing a more sustainable alternative. We grow vegetables in recycled shipping containers under LED lights with a hydroponic system to deliver irrigation and nutrients to the plants. This modern day farm uses only a fraction of the water of traditional farming. This wall of electronics is the control center for the farm. It controls the irrigation, so the plants are delivered the right amount of water, the right amount of nutrients, and the appropriate levels of temperature and CO2 uh, for their level or their, their, their place in their growth cycle. Plants are growing in coconut husk and every element of the process is reused or recycled. The best thing about these boxes is they can be placed anywhere. Right now we're in a car park in Brookvale, but they could be in the city, they could be in remote communities, they could be in Antarctica. <laughs>